Hello everyone, welcome in, welcome in. My name is Tiara Chardé. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, best-selling author, and CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess. We are here to honor and restore the path of the goddess, honor and restore the path of the priestess. Welcome to day two of Embodying the Goddess. So many of you know, the spirit led me to the spirit and the goddess and the universe and everybody led me to share seven days of goddess spirituality, seven days of embodying the goddess. And I'm so excited to be here with you all. Definitely make sure you click on the links in my description box to find out how you could get a hold of me and how you can tap in. So one of the biggest things with embodying the goddess is understanding who the goddess is who she is she is the sacred and supreme mother she is the primordial mother she is the creatrix of this entire universe and she doesn't get spoken about enough because of society because of the definitely intentional erasure of that feminine principle because if the feminine principle was taught the world would be a completely different place my loves it will be a place of balance and fairness it will be a place of unity and love there wouldn't be these type of wars that you see today there definitely wouldn't be all sorts of perversions and violence. There wouldn't be crimes against humanity, women, children, and men. It would have a completely different landscape. So many of you out there, you feel the pull and you feel this call from the goddess energy to embody your highest potential, to become more than who you are, more than who you have been. And it is an awakening. These activations are touching men and women. My specific path is to call out to the women, the divine feminine principle, those who are here to bring the goddess energy forward, those who are here to embody the goddess, quite literally, in everything that you do, in everything that you say. And I feel like the world has this sort of mis conception or misunderstanding on who the goddess is because mainstream media will lead you to believe that goddess energy is someone who looks a certain way she dresses a certain way she always has her hair and nails done she's she's affluent and she looks like this and she has a straight nose and all of this stuff goddess energy the goddess has nothing to do with aesthetic it has everything to do with energy. And as I'm speaking about this, y'all, my whole body is vibrating. The hairs on my arms and legs are standing up right now. <laughs> because goddess energy is potent. It's powerful. And it comes to us regardless of how much money we make, if we wear designer clothes or not, whether our house is paid off or not, whether we have... A sexy relationship or not goddess energy is above and beyond that so the goddess wants me to remind you all who are stepping onto this path or growing onto this path maybe you've been on you know this journey of goddess spirituality embodying the goddess for many many years the goddess wants me to let you know that she wants you to study her she wants you to know who she is. You can do this through meditations. I've found that fasting and prayer and affirmations really helped me tap in to the sacred mother, really helped me understand who she is. And the goddess wants you to tap into goddess spirituality because we've been brainwashed, many of us, we've been taught a certain way of religion and spirituality and the goddess wants us to erase everything that we've ever been taught and start from the beginning. Really start from a novice point of view. 
and get to know her. Unlearn the lies that you have been taught about women and relearn the divinity of woman as the goddess has intended. That is what she wants you to do. You will partner with a goddess. Many of you who have joined my programs, you know I speak a lot about partnering with a goddess. Research the goddesses and which one speaks to you. For some of you, several goddesses will speak to you, right? But find one or two that you feel this pull and this call towards. And that is the goddess that the divine wants you to work with and partner with. And you do that by meditating with her, studying her, wearing her colors. You can light a candle in her honor. And I found that once you tap into goddess spirituality, your goddess will select you. Many of you know the story of how I came into goddess spirituality when I was in Costa Rica and this giant Yemaya statue literally called out to me. I didn't know it was even there. <laughs> I just felt this pull to turn around when I was riding my bicycle one day and then I see this huge Yemaya statue. So the goddess will choose you. The goddess whose characteristics and principles really speak to you on a soul level, she will select you. And then you move forward into embodying that goddess, activating the goddess within you through her teaching, through that deity or through that characteristic of the goddess's teaching. Okay, so that is the end of day two of embodying the goddess. It's called embodying the goddess within. Right. So step into that goddess principle understand who she is. Make sure you click on the links in my description box, tiarasharday.com. Embodying the Goddess Within our spring semester of the Mystery School is going on right now. Those of you who are tapping into this series and those of you who stay for the duration of the series are cordially invited to enroll in Embodying the Goddess Mystery School. And there's amazing perks there's amazing offerings that you will receive when you sign up. All right, my loves, I will see you on day three. Peace and love.